My name is Larry Masenko, and my story doesn't start here, but this is where I'm going to start. On, um, in November of 2005, I was diagnosed accidentally with um, fourth degree lung cancer. Never smoked, was an athlete, and it came as a complete sur surprise and shock, as you well can imagine. That was one of the defining moments in my faith. Ten years ago in 1996, 11 years ago, 1996, my wife came to me and said, we need to start going to church. And there was no, we in, we start going to church, you can start going to church. But eventually, as wives are known to do, they prevailed. But I made her promise that I didn't have to go until after the football season was over with. That was in January. I needed to watch the playoffs, I needed to watch the Super Bowl, and so on. And we went. Uh, it was a small, this was in Pennsylvania, it was a small church. And um, as we were walking up, we were late. And uh, as we were going to church, the windows were open in mid-February, which I thought was kind of surprising. When we got in, we found out why. But through the windows was coming this rock and roll music. And I thought maybe we were going to a cult or whatever. The moral of the story, the bottom line of the story, is that I was not a believer, didn't want to be. Uh, God and I had an agreement that I made years and years ago. Uh, I was born in a poor family, and whatever I got, I got myself. The Marine Corps further solidified that thinking of, you can do it. And my deal with God was, you leave me alone, don't bother me, and I won't bother you. And that was the attitude that I walked into church that Sunday morning. And um, I, I was doing my husbandly duty. But that day in that church, didn't, don't remember much of the message, but it was the songs that we were singing. I'd never sung songs off a wall before. I'd never sung songs that I didn't know the music to. And yet, that day, with those songs, touched my heart. And God grabbed me by the neck and told me that I wasn't going to get away from Him anymore. He saved my life through a multiple rollover crash. He saved my life when I went through the windshield of a car and came back in. If I hadn't come back in, I probably would have been landing ground, a landing pad for that car. And yet I never said, thank you, Jesus. I said, boy, was I lucky. And that day in that church, um, a song that was being sung, I still remember it, it was from David, from, from Psalms, that David wrote, Create in me a clean heart of God, and renew a right spirit within me. He wrote those words after he had sinned with Bathsheba. Cast me not away from thy presence, O God and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. I needed that. When we walked out of church that after that day, my wife said, well, what'd you think? I said, I wanna go again. And she started jumping around and, and all happy. And no, 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 I don't want anyone to know this. I wanna go at my own speed. And so that's how I came to the Lord that Sunday. We had some experiences where we made some bad business decisions. I was involved with a family member in a business and that didn't do well for a lot of reasons. And we essentially lost our 3,200 square foot home. We had to sell it before it was foreclosed. We were in deep, deep doo-doo with internal revenue. In fact, Internal Revenue wanted me to stop our giving to the church at that time and put that towards our debt with them. And that was not negotiable, I told them. Do anything else, not negotiable. That giving started out because we felt we needed to give something back to the Lord. We were now living in a less than 1,200 square foot apartment from our other home. and. 
basically really living paycheck to paycheck. Sorry story for a financial planner, I'm sorry to say, but again, bad decisions. The prayers of my wife, even more than mine, was to get us out of debt. But we had to start giving to the Lord. One had nothing to do with each other. We started tithing, which was extremely difficult because we didn't have anything to tithe with. But little bit by little bit, we realized that God was blessing us for our faithfulness. And I'm not, this is not Attaboy Larry or anything like that. I'm showing how God fulfills his promises.